Durham University for me, Hatfield College, 1991 to 1994. I can't think of a more important period in my life. Not just rugby, my life. They were the days of my life on a rugby field with my best pals who are still my best pals. <laughs> So it's different being here at night, isn't it? Gigi is... Oh, I've never come in through this way to Twickenham before. I thought the pitch would be a bit more teared up from today, but it looks like a carpet. <laughs> it looks a carpet. Once you get in here and, you know, you see how good the pitch is and how big the actual place is, you just can't wait to get out there tomorrow. And, uh, yeah, I'm really looking forward to it now. Well, tomorrow will probably be the... Uh, in terms of rugby experience, the proudest, you know, the proudest I'll ever be. I've played with some of these guys for three years, been in three Twickenham finals with some of these guys, so to end it all here, it's just, it's, it'll be a very special moment. Tomorrow, those 80 minutes, will act almost like kindling deep inside you that will burn for the rest of your lives. Selfless commitment is what binds you soldiers together. When we started all playing rugby, you know, five, six, seven, eight-year-old boys, we all dreamed about one day stepping onto that hallowed turf. But going away, doing a job, in front of your friends, in front of your families, but crucially, we also did it for the mates. Rugby gives us friendships that you will never forge again. Those 80 minutes, whether you're successful or not, married, divorced, happy, unhappy, rich, poor, those 80 minutes tomorrow will live with you till the day you die. 80 minutes. Throw yourselves into it because it's rare in life that you have that singular goal, that singular ambition and that team spirit that you guys have. Those 80 minutes may well define your lives. Let it define you. Yeah, the finals are tough. That's what it's about. It's challenging you, and you got to rise to that challenge. You got to accept the challenge and say that's that, that's where we're at today. If you look back to the two years having won it once, having lost it once, you know the two feelings are just you can't really compare the two. Last year we were a bit arrogant. We thought it was job done by just turning up, um, and it was it wasn't fun at all. I mean, that's probably one of my lowest feelings in rugby. You know, they say win lose, you still play at Twickenham, but everyone comes here to win, really. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Am I doing another good luck video for DURFC? Boys, an unbelievable run. You guys are killing it. Another great day out at Twickenham. Have a good one. I was there a couple of years ago when you beat this same lot. You can do it again. Enjoy it. Soak it up. Dig in. It's going to hurt. I'm not going to lie to you, it's going to hurt. You're going to have to go to places you haven't been before. Look around the room right now, make eye contact, and in that eye contact, deliver a message to every single other person in this room today that when it matters, you will deliver. We've got to sort that scrummage out. We absolutely have got to get it tidied up. How many turns have they been in our half? Fuck, nothing. But when we really fright them is when we play that tempo. We fire into them. Yeah. Honestly, if yeah. we get this first goal, that head starts to go. Good on yourself. Good on yourself. Good on yourself.
Now, I'm not going to exaggerate. There must have, was there 3,000 people there in 1992? Someone might say there weren't even that many, but it felt for us as though the whole university had travelled south and were prepared to give up their time, get down and support the lads. Winning a World Cup was an unbelievable journey. And in terms of rugby's Everest, there it is. But I keep coming back to Durham. My memories, my pals, the friendships for life. Yeah, they're there with the England rugby team. But there's something innocent, something naive, something foolish about the age of 18 to 21. <laughs> You don't try and spend the rest of your life trying to recreate, but I'm still spending the rest of my life trying to recreate Durham. <laughs> Oh, I mean, there's no better feeling, especially when, you know, we had a really good crowd out from supporting Durham today, and when you hear them getting behind you, it's, it just spurs you on, and uh, it's amazing how quickly the match goes, and, you know, it's just it's great to have that support with you. So proud, so proud. They're just, they're, they're my boys, they're brilliant. Will's got it right, you know, they take this away, they'll never, ever forget it. And I think winning finishes off my time at Durham um, and something that I'll look back on probably for the rest of my life, knowing that I gave everything for my club but also my best friends.